Hello, everybody. We're going to be talking about multiplying a binomial times a binomial. Maybe we should start with, well, what's a binomial? Um, well, a binomial is an expression. What's an expression? Well, an expression, of course, is uh, one or more terms, right? 2x squared is an example of a term. Uh, if I had 2x squared plus 3x, that would have two terms in it. And uh, so that would be a binomial. If it just had one term in it, it would be a monomial. If it had three terms in it, uh, then like this, then it would be a trinomial, uh, etc. right? All of these together, they're just called polynomials. So if it has one, it's monomial, two, it's binomial, three, it's trinomial. Uh, maybe it's even worth uh, pointing out that if you, ha in each individual term, uh, it could have a coefficient at the front, that'd be a number that's multiplied by the rest of the term. Uh, it probably has a, within the term, it might have a variable, right? Um, and uh, then maybe we might actually also talk about a term that's just made up of a number, and there's a word for that, it's called a constant. Right? So these terms, uh, these words, coefficient, variable, and constant, are uh, words that I would expect you to know. Um, so of course these are all, as well, expressions, right? 2x squared plus 3x equaling 10, I would say, well, that's gone from being an expression to being an equation, right? And uh, if we had uh, y equals 2x squared plus 3x, that's an equation with two different kinds of variables in it, and I would say that um, has moved us from expressions to equations to a function, right? Because a function is a relationship between two things, two kinds of variables. So the function that I've just written here, y equals 2x squared plus 3x, is just one of the many functions that describe some kind of relationship between x and y. So, as part of your note, I would expect you to have definitions of binomial, maybe monomial, trinomial, uh, what an expression is, what an equation is, what a function is, coefficient, variable, and constant. Now, just Quickly, you have before, you have multiplied a monomial times a binomial. You've done that before. It would be something like one term times two terms, something like 3x being one term times uh, another, or uh, two terms, like x plus 2. Uh, and we have different names for that. We call it expanding. We call it distributing. It, we, uh, we end up multiplying it out using the distributive property. And what that means is that this term is going to get multiplied by the first one and the second one. And it would work out to 3x squared plus 6x, right? That's review from grade 9. If we were to then uh, go on and multiply a binomial times a binomial, well, that would mean that we would take one expression, like x plus 2, and multiply it by another two-term expression, like x plus 3, and we would have to distribute that. Well, we were going to distribute that. That means that basically um, this first term in the first expression, the first term in the first binomial, will have to get multiplied by the first term and by the second term in the second expression as well. The second term in the first expression will have to be multiplied as well by the first and third. Okay, so we're going to actually, sometimes we call this double distribution. Um, everything is going to have to be multiplied by everything. Right? Uh, and so that would work out to be, well, x times x is x squared x times 3 is positive 3x, 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 3 is plus 6. Now we'll notice that we're not done because we have here two like terms, which we can combine or collect our like terms, which we would always do, and we get a trinomial. We get a trinomial here. Now this trinomial that we've created, um, because it actually came from four terms, we actually there's a special word for this kind. It's called it's actually called a quadratic expression, and you'll recognize quadratic expressions because usually they will have a variable with a square on it, and maybe the same variable just to the power of one, and then a constant. That's often what you'll see: some kind of combination of x squared, x, and then a constant. And that's um, really what we're going to be looking at a whole bunch over the next three units: things that have to do with quadratic expressions or things that contain quadratic expressions. So. 
uh, just to practice a few of these and to talk about how you might do that. Often we talk about um, looking at this um, example of where we'd have to multiply two binomials. Often uh, we use the word FOIL, the acronym FOIL, to tell us how to, um, to remind us how to multiply them out, which means the first two terms get to multiply by each other, the two outside terms get multiplied by each other, the two inside terms, and the two last terms, right? So the two first terms, the two outside terms, the two inside terms, and the two last terms, right? And when you did that, you would um, end up with, well, first, that'd be x times x, x squared, x times minus 1, which is minus x, 4 times x, which is plus 4x, plus 4 times negative 1, minus 4. Now, I'm hoping that after a few of these, you won't have to do this step. You could do that part in your head, because usually those two uh, middle terms that you come up with in your quadratic expression in the first, uh, in the first multiplying will combine. So um, after a while, you'll just, while you're writing, you will do the uh, minus x and the plus 4 in your head, and you'll just write plus 3x as your final answer. Uh, in this example, you'll see, um, of course, that uh, watching the signs that you work with uh, is always important, right? x minus 3 times x minus 5. Well, uh, the two first ones, x times x, is x squared. And in my head, I'm going to say that I know that x times minus 5 is minus 5. And then it's also going to be minus 3, so that combines to minus 8x and then plus 15. And uh, so I notice that um, my final constant here ends up being plus 15 because I know a negative times a negative is a positive. Uh, you'll also see expressions like this, uh, something that says x minus 6 all squared. And many students over the years have jumped right in and said, well, I know that, that uh, if I square the x and square the 6, I will get x squared uh, plus 36. And this is absolutely, absolutely not true. If you've ever been in one of my classes or students who have had my class before, um, they will tell you um, that it is an absolute truth that anyone who does this somehow, somewhere, we're not really sure how it happens, but puppies die when you make this mistake. So don't do it because, you know, everyone likes puppies, so don't kill the puppies. Um, why, what, what's wrong with this? Why doesn't that work? Well, you know what squaring means. You know that uh, squaring means to multiply something by itself. So x minus 6 squared means x minus 6 times x minus 6. And of course, if we FOIL that out, x squared, I'll do it in two steps this time, minus 6x six, six minus 6x six plus 36. And that, of course, collects to x squared minus 12x uh, plus 36. All right, so this is one special kind of quadratic expression. We'll look at it more later on, but uh, you'll notice that um, we have uh, a binomial times a binomial that's hidden a little bit as being square and actually and, uh, creates this kind of pattern where you actually have a, a quadratic expression that has a square in the front, right? X squared is square. Uh, 36 is a square number. Um, starts and ends with a square, with two square uh, terms, and we call this a perfect square trinomial. You don't have to know about it yet. You will be very familiar with it before the end of the unit. Most of the binomial multiplication we'll be doing will be fairly simple, but uh, if we were to do something like this, 2x minus 1 times 3x plus 4, still two binomials, it's just that we happen to have binomials that have some coefficients in them. Uh, the pattern will be exactly the same, right? 2x times 3x will be 6x squared. 2x times 4, I'll do it in two steps instead of 1. 2x times 4 is positive 8x minus 1 times 3x, so minus 3x. And then minus 1 times positive 4 is minus 4. Collect my terms to make it a trinomial plus 5x minus 4. Right, so we end up with an answer or an expression that ha does have a coefficient on that first term, but the pattern is exactly the same. The last thing you might see would be uh, an expression um, or a, a multiplication that you could do that has maybe even other letters in it, might have uh, a second variable in it. 
it's still pretty doable as long as you follow the pattern. Right, you would get 2a times a is 2a squared. 2a times negative 3b is negative 6ab. b times a is still ab. We always write our terms with the variables in alphabetical order. Right, ab is the same as ba, only we always write it ab in order. b times negative 3b is going to be negative 3b squared. Again, I have two terms in the middle here that, I, that are the same, so I'm going to collect them, and I end up with 2a squared. Uh, let's see, minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5ab minus 3b squared. And maybe I'll just finish off with this point. Um, if I were to give you something like, you know, 4 minus 2 times uh, 3 plus 1, right? Um, there's an expression that we could FOIL out, right? 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 1 is 4. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, and negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Uh, and I could add all those together, 12, because they're all the same terms, they're all just constants. 12 plus 4 is 16, minus 6 is 10, minus 2, and that works out to 8. Now, of course, please don't ever do that. If you were ever given the expression, 4 minus 2 times 3 plus 1, please follow Bedmas as you've been taught. Right, that equals 2 times 4, and that equals 8. I just wanted to show you that whether you FOIL or not, you get the same answer. Um, so that's maybe one indication that hmm, when you do FOIL, that is actually working an expression correctly to whatever it, uh, whatever it could be simplified to. That's it for this lesson. Uh, in the coming weeks, we'll be practicing not so much this, because this you'll be very good at, but uh, something like giving you the quadratic expression like this and having you actually figure out what it came from. We would call that factoring a quadratic expression to get back to the two binomials that uh, can multiply to give that. All right, so you have that to look forward to. We'll see you later.